this video we're going to look at the 38 special songs Somebody Like You. This was a request and uh, I love this song and I love the genre of Southern Rock so we're going to cover it and I appreciate the request. It's in G. I think we can get through this pretty quickly together today and have a lot of fun playing it. Um, there's two guitar parts, a rhythm part and then a part that plays the solos and the signature parts. We're not going to cover solos today but we're going to cover everything else I think. So here we go. Uh, kicking off it's the rhythm guitar. Just chunking on a G chord. Third fret E, fifth fret A. All down strokes, palm muting. Let's turn it up just a little. And then I just walk up, open, first, second, and then back to the G on the low E string. I find that I do it smoother. Jump back to the first finger. You could use just one finger. I'm using the first finger, second finger, and then back. So from there, this is the verse. Guitar chord C, third fret A, fifth fret D. All down strokes. I'm gonna slide up to D chord. fifth fret A, seventh fret D. Then we arpeggiate the E minor. So I just kind of hit a power E minor, just the bottom couple strings. Then the D string, E note. And then strum the top two or three strings. And then come back and hit the open G string. So it's four, it's kind of four uh, picks. Down, E, top strings. F sharp, hit the low E string, second fret with your thumb, then hit the open D string, then strum, but I don't get the high E string, I'm just getting really D, G, and B. You come back, hit the second fret A note in that D chord. So slow it's... probably the most intricate thing to do in the whole rhythm part so you'll get it down and the rest of it's a piece of cake in slow motion those two chords that's being real picky and playing it like I hear it on the studio record live they don't really play it that cleanly so you can do with it what you want to but that's how I hear it and then it goes to C back to the D back into the next verse it does this little I've got my pinky on the fifth fret of the A string going down to the second fret of the low E string and then sliding my first finger back up to the third fret of the low E okay then we're back to the second verse kind of same ideas speed it up It's just this, e, this G power that we started, then to a, a G a chord with a B on the bottom, 2nd fret A, 5th fret D, then slide that 1st finger up to the 3rd fret to get the C chord, then up to a D, and then a... So in the chorus, the E minor isn't 4 strokes, it's 2, it's sort of a power and then a strum one, and... So here's the chorus in some motion.
So those are the, some of the main rhythm ideas. Um, really the only variation is the guitar solo goes back to that. to a G, to a C, to a D, to an E minor, to a G, to a C. And most of those are just big ringy chords. And the second time around it starts muting again on the C. to a chorus. Sorry. Okay, again, that's all the rhythm part, and I know I went through that really quickly, but just think that there's this version of E minor, D over F sharp. And then there's an E minor where it's just hit strong, hit strong. And then the bridge are just big open chords. If you want to add a little chunk to them, you can. And um, that's really it for the rhythm part, okay? And the outro of the rhythm part is just, just like the intro. And then it ends on a big G. Okay, before we get into uh, the lead part, I do want to note that those C's that I'm using um, are really C2's. There's no third in them. So I've got the third fret of the A string, third fret of the B and E string. I'm not getting the low E string at all, and I'm not getting the D string. So I'm, I'm actually muting it with uh, my middle finger. So I can strum right over it. And I don't get this. I don't want that at all. Okay, so on that bridge, same with my G. It's a G without a third. It's really a G5. No second fret A at all. Don't want that. I'm muting it with my middle finger. You're probably familiar with those, but if you're not, they're good to know because. Um, there's just times when you, you've got to have that sound without a third in it. Okay, so uh, basically the signature licks are... Uh, I've got a sort of a uh, pinky is what I use on the 7th fret of the G string. 4th fret of D. And then I slide my 1st finger from the 4th fret to the 5th fret on D. While hitting both strings together, kind of palm muted. Then the same thing down here in the C position. This G with a B bass that we've already played. Second fret A, fifth fret D. And slide up to third fret A. Slow motion. C, C2, two hits, and back, same thing, two, D, then you can just, you know, when those two parts, the rhythm and the lead part, play the same thing. If it's, if it's not chunking real strongly, um, you just want to listen and try to differentiate between those two parts, okay? Um, the signature part uh, doesn't typically play the big arpeggiated chords as much, but you can. And if you were playing it by yourself in a band, you could sort of cover both parts. You just have to figure out what was the most essential thing for you to play. Um, 
but basically when we get to the chorus, there's a big difference. So we're playing it. So that's a signature lick that's really key here. So uh, let's get into it. So. So I hit the big G, second fret A, third fret A. All that together real slow. And then it goes on back to the chorus and then there's one more lick that's very similar to that, uh, but slightly different, so let's play it. Um... That one just kind of walks out. Uh... Those signature runs are the second variation. Inspect it. Tune. I appreciate the request and hope that gives you what you need to uh, really knock it out.